What's up, peeps? My vape's here. Today we got a pod, an inexpensive pod kit from UL. It's called the Pop Reel Yearn Style Pod Kit. So, what is the Pop Reel? Basically, UL's attempt at, not attempt, but they want to basically give you guys a pod that's going to be cheap in price, cheaper or equal to a disposable device. So instead of buying a disposable, obviously disposable, throwing in the garbage, you would just throw this pod away, but they made it in cheap plastic materials, so this way it's affordable. So let's go to the dive down. Let me show you guys everything about it. We'll come back, vape on it, then I'll give you guys all my thoughts on the Pop Reel by UL. And here's the packaging. The Pop Reel Pod Kit by UL comes in bath salts and the device. So we got a built in 520 milliamp hour battery. Got some branding there, UL. This is plastic, got a nice texture to it. Type C charge port is on the bottom. And you get just one pod, pull it out. You can see the contacts in there. Holds two mLs of V liquid. Does have a protective sticker and your fill port is here on the side. It's not like the traditional Caliburns where it's a top fill. Reason being is this device, this whole kit is supposed to be for a cheaper price basically. For people that instead of them buying disposable pods, this is going to be priced like a disposable pod. So this way it's less waste. You don't have to throw away the battery and refill. I mean it's... That's the same thing you would do anyway with a Caliburn, for example. But they just wanted to make this a cheaper price than what the Caliburn is. So obviously by them putting top fill, I guess it makes the product more expensive and so forth. And here's an up close look at the pod. It does say Profux on there. Like I said, your fill port over here. Coil for this, this device, they're, they're going to be coming. I think it's only one uh, resistance, 1 1.2 ohm resistance. Now to fill it, you're going to pop the plug. You have a nice big opening there, stick your bottle inside and fill. And after you filled it, you're going to pop it in. You're going to have a little battery light indicator here. There is no fire button with this. This is strictly an auto draw device. When looking at the mouthpiece, it is a little bit on a chunky side. You can see I'll put it side by side there with the Caliburn G. The Caliburn G is a little bit more rounded off than this one here. This is the G2. The device is also going to come in a bunch of different colors. They sent me this one here. This is like almost got a greenish bluish tint to it and then this one here almost got like this dull pink tint to it and when looking on the side there you do have a little hole that's where your airflow is going to come in and there you go that was the poop reel pod kit by ul let's go back on top let's vape on it and i'll give you guys my thoughts and there you have it that was the up close of the pop reel by ul mike your thoughts pros and cons okay cons with this is gonna be the obvious one pod no type c charging cable now, we know why they only included one pod, no Type-C charging cable, because they wanted to keep the price to be cheap. Cheap price, a better alternative to people than disposables, which I like that. You guys, If you guys watch me on live shows that I do during the week on Vape and Fagan's channel and ST Vapes channel, I always say how I can't stand the disposables. I don't like the idea of always throwing away a battery. It just doesn't make sense to me. How hard is it to just fill the tank up? So, you all did it. Here you go. Cheap device, cheaper than the Caliburn series. Me, personally, I would I would spend the extra money to go with the Caliburn series. But this one here is going to cater to a certain crowd. Now, when it comes to airflow on here, this has a much different airflow than the Caliburns. Tight. This has a tight airflow. So, if you like that tight MTL... This one will be right up your alley. Let's have a few vapes. That's a tight MTL. I like it. It's right up my style. I could use a little bit more airflow, but I'm fine with this. Vape's pretty good. Flavor is awesome on here. It's a nice device. I actually like the way it feels. It is light, plastic. Don't have to worry if I drop it or break it. It's going to be an inexpensive device. It's got Type-C charging, which will get a Pro. And the vape's pretty good. One more vape. And there you go. That was the Pop Reel by UL. In the description below, no links to this. Can't. I'm not allowed. Good old YouTube policies. But we'll have links to me, Mike Vapes, down below. As always, that's it. I'm done. Thank you. Remember, be safe, man. Keep on vaping.